So, next up, holding a mug of tea, it's... Start clapping, please. Tom Braithwaite! So, when I meet Andy, I, I, I fancy him and all that, you know, we're, we're just mates, nothing else. And uh, Mary, she may be 37, but she's still my sister, so I'm like, hey, this is Guy I know. I think you should meet him, because I think they'll be good together. And I did. Um, you know, I'm around there from time to time, a lot of the time. Me and him, we just get along. And then, before you know it, I'm around at Mary's house, whether Mary's there or not. And, uh, yeah, me and him, we've started something my life's lost its sparkle. And if he's drank from the whiskey I brought round like an idiot because I can't stay away, she gets it. He's physical. I can see it when I go around. Bruises, different colours in the bruises. It's what they go like, innit? All funny colours like petrolin and puddle. And what am I supposed to say or do? I ain't got a leg to stand on, have I? I can't talk about what he's doing to her because what I'm doing is just as bad. And at the same time, I'm still screwing him. Can't stop myself, can I? And that day, she calls me up and she's really quiet. There's a rat in the house. Well, speak to your landlord about it. No, it's not in the building. It's just in our flat. And I still, I still don't get it. No, this isn't something the landlord can deal with. So I go around. She answers the door. She's all black and blue, just like I said. But she's... They're calm. Tell is still on. He's lying face down on the carpet. And what breaks my heart more than anything is that she still chooses me over him. Her sister. So, I made a promise to myself, there and then, when you guys come calling, I'm going to take the flag. I'm going to put myself in the firing line because Mary has been in the firing line this whole entire time. 